there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and welcome to my channel. I'm back. Um, I review books and bookish things and all things writing. Um, as you can see behind me, I am currently going through it. Um, I upload third. I try to upload every Thursday and then alternate Tuesdays um, with some bonus stuff sprinkled in here and there. So today we are going over... The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. Let's get into it. Okay, so this book actually came out in 2018. I didn't hear about it. I think this was part of my books I wanted to read this year pile. Um, I believe if it is I'll link it up in the cards above this is officially a banned book if you can believe that it's I don't know why it's a cute little little story I loved it um, yeah it's 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 a YA graphic novel um, it's LGBTQIA plus and yeah I thought it was amazing the illustrations in it are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm trying to show you only from the beginning because so beautiful. So beautifully written. It's very, it feels plausible and at the same time it feels like a fantasy, which is my favorite way to do YA. It's, it's my favorite way to make that happen is to do fantasy that's grounded. It's, it's a tried and true tale of rags to riches, kind of, pursuing your dreams, pursuing your passions, with a twist. So, Frances um, is our main character. Uh, she is the dressmaker, and she uh, has dreams of becoming a, dr a designer. Sebastian is the prince, and he has a secret. Their paths cross when Francis designs a scandalous dress for a potential suitor to Sebastian. And he sees the dress and everyone sees the dress and a mysterious burly guy comes into the shop and whisks her away to be a, a personal dressmaker to someone else as she's getting fired for disgracing the dress shop that she was working for. And yeah, it turns out that the, the person that hires her is Sebastian, and he wants her to make dresses for him. Because he likes frilly dresses. I mean, who doesn't? I live in North Texas. You can't see it, but I'm not wearing pants right now. I'm wearing shorts. Because it is too hot for pants. It's almost too hot for skirts and dresses. So, I get it. Especially in the time period where this takes place, it's kind of a late 18 early 1900s feel um no air conditioning so yeah it's too hot for pants and honestly if we want to take anatomy into consideration um those that present femme really should be wearing pants and those that present masculine should be wearing dresses and skirts just for ease of anatomy so uh he has sebastian has this alter ego and she designs dresses, and the shit absolutely hits the fan in the worst possible way, at the worst possible time, as secrets are wont to do. I won't spoil it, because it is wonderful. I don't know why this book was- well, I know why this book was banned. I'm sure we can all guess why this book was banned. But I don't know why they would ban this book. It's such a great story about being true to who you are and not hurting anybody. And gaining the acceptance and pursuing the acceptance of those you love and being yourself in spite of or in up in pr prepared opposition to what they might think because it's who you are and like these are things we should be teaching kids sebastian's not hurting anybody francis isn't hurting anybody they're both yeah they're both young but they're old enough to be married off so they're essentially grown-ups in this society and yeah it's it's silly it's a charming silly story 
about being true to who you are. So it has a happy ending. It has kind of a schmaltzy happy ending that I kind of wish had gone in an opposite direction. But I get it. You, you've got to tie up all the strings. Um, Sebastian is not explicitly trans. He is perhaps genderqueer or non-binary. But parents still took issue with this. Um, when this book and 22 others were banned in, o in Idaho, a local bookstore gave out free copies so that people could still read these banned books. Like, they were banned, they were challenged, libraries pulled them, and a local bookstore ordered in extra copies and passed them out. Which I think is amazing. Um, I think that's absolutely fantastic. That's the most punk rock thing I've ever heard of. That's more punk rock than anything the Sex Pistols ever did. Fight me. So... If you're in for a cute, charming read, something you can read in a day, that's a good balance between mental chewing gum, something to kind of get you out of that reader slump, which is what this was for me, and something that stimulates your brain. Like, it's got a good balance of the two. It's mostly chewing gum, which is important. We need that. But it gives you things to think about, and it ling the story lingers in your mind in a good way. So, for that reason, I give this, this one, The Prince and the Dressmaker, five stars please 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 go check it out it's banned it's challenged fight the power go read it so have you read it have you have you been reading banned books i know it's still a while for until banned books week but i i, I love doing what i'm not supposed to supposed to so yeah tell me what you've been reading i'm so glad to be back and let me know what y'all think in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one. Bye.